Welcome to another TI Inspire CX tutorial. In this session we will explore some of the ways you can generate an arithmetic sequence in the calculator application using explicit and recursive definitions. At the end of this video we will provide a link to a worksheet so you can practice the skills being covered. So let's get started. The sequence command can be found under the list operations in the statistics menu. Alternatively, you can type the abbreviation SEQ or use the catalog. Here you'll find the syntax for other sequence commands, which we'll look at later in this video. The first part of the sequence command requires an expression or formula. In this example, I'll use an explicit formula to generate the first five odd numbers. My formula is 2n minus 1. The variable here is n. The first value of n will be 1, highest will be 5. The result is a sequence consisting of the first five odd numbers. To understand how this command works, consider each value of n. Starting with n equals 1 through to n equals 5, each successively substituted into the formula to generate the sequence. Once the list of numbers has been generated, it can be stored and used just like any other list. Now we'll have a look at another sequence command found in the catalog, the sequence generator. It's great for working with recursive formulas. Odd numbers can be thought of as the set of numbers starting at 1 and going up by 2's. The syntax for this command starts with the recursive expression t n minus 1 plus 2. That is 2 more than the previous term, followed by the independent variable n, the dependent variable, in this case t, followed by the list of values that n will take, from the minimum through to the maximum. And finally, the starting term or terms. Since each consecutive term is based on the previous one, an initial term or terms must be included. An abbreviated version of both the sequence and sequence generator commands is sequence n. This assumes that the sequence formula is in terms of u and n. This has the benefit of reducing the quantity of parameters that need to be entered in order to generate a sequence. Using this command for explicit formulas, the variable is assumed to be n and the starting term n equals 1. So we can just enter the number of terms to be generated. Using the sequence n command for recursive formulas, the expression is assumed to be written using u and n, and some initial terms, and the number of terms. That's all for this session on arithmetic sequences in the calculator application. Don't forget to download our free worksheet and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications as other tutorials become available. Check out our e-newsletter, it's free and gives you lots of great tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.